Hi everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning, this message is for all Sagittarius in the universe, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. The messages may or may not resonate in this reading because it is a general reading. So uh, if you want a personal reading, you can contact me via my email. So thank you for watching. I've done a pre-shuffle so we can jump straight in. The message is for this reading, heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. We've got forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We've got new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And we've got free yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. Okay, so we're going to get some tarot and tap into the energy surrounding this situation. Do remember that energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. There is no gender in tarot, it's all just energies. So please take the messages as it resonates for you and your situation. We've got the Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. We've got Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Page of Cups, a lot of Pentacles in this reading here. So, you may have Earth in your chart or this person may have earth in their chart a capricorn or taurus or virgo but there's a lot of earth energy in this reading so this shows um a situation where for some of you it looks like um you've withdrew from a situation maybe recently and uh, yeah it looks like you're focused on yourself we've got nine of pentacles and queen of pentacles in reverse so that shows that for some of you out here you're choosing to focus on your own self-worth right now and your self-value invest your energy into yourself focus on your business right now and your career I feel like this situation here just wasn't in alignment with your goals this person just wasn't in alignment for you I feel for some of you out here so um, as much as it looks like this person was putting in the time and the effort I feel like this person was putting in the work in this situation with you. They were trying to create a friendship or relationship with you. You guys may have been dating, talking. This person looks like they want to take things seriously here, King of Pentacles. This is someone that's in the energy of wanting to, um, you know, commit. This is someone that believes in marriage and family. This could be a family guy. But this is someone that really wanted to be with you here. They wanted to take things seriously, wanted you to take them seriously. And they were putting in the work. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, but um, Seven of Pentacles. This person was really invested here. They were putting in the work. They were trying to make the effort here. They were hoping that this can grow. They were, they were hoping this can grow. But um, it looks like you just feel that this situation is not for you. Three of Swords, this person, there's um emotional heartbreak here. This person's um, feeling the pain. This person is actually feeling heartbroken here. This person feels heartbroken here. They actually, they actually still, still wait for you. This person really hasn't gone anywhere. You know, you've turned your back on this person, it looks like. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Pentacles. 
this person is still waiting for you, they still watch you, they still wait for you, they still think about you. Yeah, they actually um, want your forgiveness. This person actually wants your forgiveness for whatever went down between you guys. They want your forgiveness. They want to release and heal the past and experience more love in the present. They actually want forgiveness here. Start again. Maybe, but um, I'm getting that this person, we've got Page of Cups here in reverse. This indicates um, someone that's um, quite emotionally immature. This is someone, this indicates someone that doesn't have um, that level of maturity when it comes to emotions. They may be a bit too emotional. This is someone that may be a bit too emotional. They're not really balanced emotionally and that page of cups there this is someone that's quite immature this is why for some of you this situation just wasn't a really a fit for you i mean it looks like you guys may have been you know dating this person was trying to get somewhere with you you may have been trying to talk to this person you know give them the benefit of the doubt see where it could go but um yeah, two of sorts, two of ones in reverse. It shows that you're choosing to take another direction. You're you're going back to the drawing board. <laughs> you was headed in one direction, but now it shows. This indicates you're not going in that in that direction anymore. You're choosing to um go back to the drawing board, go back to your original plan <laughs> of where you was headed in the first place. Yeah, because. Yeah, that was not the path for you, for some of you. This person was too emotional, they were too immature, perhaps. Yeah, you just saw the red flags. You saw the red flags. Judgment. We've got judgment here. Yeah, judgment time, yeah. Two of swords in reverse. We've got the Knight of Cups here as well. So that's more water energy. You could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. But um, this person is stuck in their head. I'm telling you, this person hasn't got over you. They they haven't moved on. I don't. It's not easy for this person to turn their back on you. It may be easy for you. But I don't feel it's easy for this person. Because like I said, they really wanted to um, be with you here. This is something they were, they were, you know, very focused on. This person was very focused on, you know, trying to build something here with you. They wanted to be with you. They wanted to commit to you. They wanted you to in their life. And they were they put all their energy into it as well. They, I could see this person was putting a lot of effort into it. They were trying to um, really put the work in here. But, um... They can't get over you. I mean, they're stuck in their head. This person feels stuck now because they want to come back. They can't get over you. This person actually wants to return back to you. Yeah, they want to talk to you. This person actually wants to talk to you. We've got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Discuss, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So this person wants to talk to you, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. They can't get over you. At the same time, they feel your energy. They feel that you have withdrew your energy. And you're not giving your time and energy into the situation with them. So they they have got doubts. They do doubt that you would give them another chance here. So they are holding back. You know, they're, they're really trying to evaluate the situation here. This person is um, really trying to um, assess assess this situation and um you know come up with a good strategy here because um like i said they can't get over you so <laughs> they don't know what to do this person's stuck thinking about you yeah i feel like um yeah we've got six of cups yeah this is someone that you have got history with and this is why this person is really stuck in you here. You've got history with this person. 
Yeah, this is someone that you've got history with and they think about you a lot. This is someone that really struggles to move on here. They stay stuck in the past as well. This person stays stuck in the past as well with that Six of Cups in reverse. We've got Ten of Cups as well in reverse. Yeah, and we also got Nine of Cups in reverse. <laughs> So now all the cups are coming out in this reading. So at first we had all the earth energy, pentacles come out. And then now all the cups is coming out. So yeah, this person may have water in their chart. You may have water in your chart. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. But um, it does show that there's a lot of emotions here in this um, situation. So a lot of emotions here. I feel like, um, yeah, this person is um, very emotional. You're dealing with someone, this is someone that's very emotional. Like I said, they, they're not really emotionally balanced. They're a bit too emotional. They're over-emotional. It's just someone that, you know, that pulls out their heart and, you know, and just over-shares, over-gives. They were doing a lot doing the most you know putting all their time and energy into someone and it's just too much i feel this person may have been a very clingy a bit possessive you know trying to do a lot pour out their heart overshare overgive very emotionally unbalanced this person you know they, they this is the type of person that throws a wobbly when they don't get their own way you know they throw a tantrum when they don't get their own way and pull me and have a pity party you know like why does this happen to me I don't deserve this all I do is just love I just love you I don't deserve this pull me pull me you know and they just don't realize it's not it's not very attractive you know <laughs> That is just not attractive. I mean, it's just drama. That is someone that is just very needy and clingy and it's like, get a grip. You know, this is someone that needs to get a grip. <laughs> they're frustrated right now. Nine of Cups in reverse. That's what I'm saying. They're very um, emotional and they're just off balance right now. Nine of Cups in reverse. This person's feeling frustrated. They're not getting their own way. This is someone that's just, you know, immature. This is someone that's really immature. They're frustrated. They're not getting their own way. They they must be feeling um, annoyed that they put so much work in this situation with you to create something with you and build with you. And there's just no success, no growth. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. They put in all the work, but there's no progress. No success. It didn't lead to anything. This person's annoyed and frustrated right now. They didn't get their own way. <laughs> yeah, ten of cups in reverse. So they didn't. This person is just really in their feelings. This person is in their feelings right now. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. So this person feels very challenged in this situation here. It's very overwhelmed. They feel so overwhelmed because they're not getting their own wave. And, you know, you're, you're just not really giving them the time or the energy. They feel like giving up. They feel like giving up. We've got Eight of Cups here. Eight of Cups, yeah, this person knows that you are walking away. And we've got Five of Pentacles. This person feels out in the cold. Yeah, for some of you, you have left this person out in the cold. You've walked away. Yeah, you've walked away from this situation. This is what I can see here. A lot of you have given up on this situation. You've walked away. It's just not fulfilling. It's emotionally unfulfilling. Yeah, and um, this it's just not a good fit for you. You left this person out in the cold. This is why they're upset. 
This is why they are upset. Yeah, you got free yourself. This came out. This came out in the beginning. It's time to take back control of your life. So a lot of you are in that energy. You feel restricted in this situation with this person. For some of you, this person, you know, maybe making you feel like, you know, you're trapped. You just want to free yourself. Free yourself. I think that's the advice here as well. It is. It is time to free yourself from this situation. Yeah, I feel for a lot of you. You have new love. You got a new person. That's um waiting for you. You have new love. I feel like this is a karmic situation here. I feel like this is a karmic situation for some of you out here. This is what I'm getting. I mean, this person here is um, really not on your vibration. This person is not operating on your vibration. A lot of you feel like this person is very low vibrational. Yeah, and you guys are just not in sync. This person here is just um, a bit too immature, especially emotionally. I mean, they may be hardworking. They may, you know, they may be good with money and they're hardworking. But emotionally, they're not, they're not good at <laughs> their emotions. They're very immature when it comes to their emotions. They're too emotional because I feel like this person has a lot of healing to do. They may have childhood traumas, you know, or they need to heal from their previous relationship, whatever situation that they are moving on from themselves. I don't feel like this person's healed from it and they're trying to um, maybe cling on to you, start something new with you rather than take the time to go and heal. This person's got a lot of healing to do. They may carry a lot of emotional baggage. They do. And this is why they're a bit emotional because they haven't healed from emotional baggage that they have carried from previous relationships or maybe even from their childhood even. So it's deep. This person hasn't really got what it takes right now to create a connection, the type of connection that you want or connection that you feel that you deserve. This person hasn't got what it takes right now. They ain't got the, the talents, they ain't got the skills right now. They need to work on themselves. And I feel like this is um, why a lot of you are freeing yourself from this situation, which I feel is the right thing to do for both your sakes here. There is new love anyway, so all is not lost here. It is just a situation for you to just forgive and move on. Forgive yourself as well. Forgive this person. Learn from it and move on and release Release the past. I uh, feel like this is a karmic energy, so a karmic from your past that try to reconnect with you, start something with you, you know. But um, it's karmic. This person hasn't healed. They they still got a lot of inner work to do. So right now is not the right time for this person for this connection. Right about now. So yeah, you guys are back to focusing on yourself, which is the right thing to do. Definitely. At the bottom of the deck, we've got six of wands here. Yeah, so this person, they do want your attention. They still do want your attention. They think about you a lot. Four of swords. Yeah, this person feels restless. They actually feel restless. Four of cups. Yeah, they know. They want to they wanna come in start a game with you, offer you their cup, but they fear that you may reject it as well because obviously they can see you're not really feeling it. Seven of Cups, yeah, they're a bit confused. All they do is just dream and fantasize about you. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they worry that they've missed out on a major opportunity here. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So... I wish you all the best in this situation, guys. I hope this reading helps you, gives you some clarity. I do want to thank you all for watching, for taking this time to watch this video. And I hope to see you all real soon. Stay tuned and take care.